Hello everyone, welcome to Tom Time. Today I will be unboxing the Lian Li 011 Dynamic Mini Modular Computer Case. So this is a mini computer case that pretty much, um, it's a small form factor that could fit um, large uh, devices such as big video cards, and even an ATX motherboard. And looking at this box, look how small it is. It's, um, it's, a bit, it's a rather small computer case. I'll unbox it and show it to you guys in a minute. But just to show you some of the uh, specs on here, um, this is a computer case on the website and um, you could do water cooling setup. You could put four drives in here. It's got good airflow, dust management. You could even mount your GPU um, vertically. It has a modular back panel, pump stands made of aluminum and it's got dual chamber design. And you could do Three configuration, five slot configuration here, as you can see, seven slot or three slots, depending on what you're doing. So even though it's a small computer case, it's got quite a bit, uh, you know, you could uh, fit quite um, amount of decent stuff in here. A water cool setup, a full size GPU, and looking here, uh, you, uh, you got the three slot design here. Uh, you could fit ITX and you could fit other uh, motherboard size too and it's got different stands and whatnot here and you got uh, these inputs here so yeah so I just want to show you quickly what the case looks like um, let's go ahead and take a look at the box I'll go ahead and unbox it um, I'll put the information of this case uh, below uh, in the description below if you want to see more technical aspects of it but here this video I just want to show you a quick unboxing uh, of this case so you know what you'll be getting so this is the retail packaging that comes in it shows the case uh, design here the modularity it comes with a 750 watt PSU in here which is awesome and yeah so the box is just a big uh, brown box with the case the this accessory box here so let's take a quick look at what's in here so thank you for your purchase. Looks like you got brackets and whatnot for your case. So we'll we'll go through more details about that later. I'll put this on my picture table. So we will see later. It's just cardboard material. And then you got the case itself in here. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the box over to open the case. So this is what the case looks like, as you can see. So the front, it's like, it's glass, you can see inside, along with the back panel here, a oh, side panel, I mean. Okay, so I kind of moved the case into another position so you guys have a better view of it. So let's go ahead and um, take a quick look around it and see uh, what it has. So. Um, as you can see, this is the side, so it's got a glass glass side here, and flipping it over, I should lift it up since it has rubber feet. It has front glass face two, and on the side here, looking at it, you got your intake fan or exhaust, depending on how you want to do it. So you got two intakes here, and this is the back of the case, power supplies, your slots here, and this is where your motherboard uh, 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 input output uh, would be in the back here, and you could add another fan. And this is, I believe, your hard drive cage for five and a quarter hard drive if you're still using it. And let's look at the top here. So this is the top. So you got more holes for intake. And then here, you have your power button, HD audio jack, uh, USB-C 3.1, and USB 3.0, uh, USB-A 3.0 connections there. And let's look underneath. So underneath here, you got more mesh grills for um, more air going in or out, however you like. So that's pretty much the case all around. So let's go ahead and open up, you know what, let's open it up this side first so you guys can see what's in here. 
So let me unscrew these thumb screws here. So you got two thumb screws on the side. I'm removing it. So looking at this panel, looks like you got two mesh uh, dust protector here. You could take out, it's magnetic as you can see. So you just, once in a while, you just pop that out, clean it and pop it back on. You have it on both sides here for dust protection on the back of the case. So that's that there. So that's the panel. I'm going to put this aside. And then here's from the inside here. Um, just quickly, we'll go through, I believe this is where you would mount your uh, AIO. Um, if you're going to do AIO cooler, so mount your radiator here. You mount your SSD drives here. And this is the cage for your five and a quarters. And this is your power supply. Look how small the power supply is. So this is a 750 watt power supply and there's the power connectors all in here. Okay, so that's the side panel off. And just looking at the back here. So obviously you could take out your power supply. I believe um, these four screws hold up the power supply. If you ever want to take that out, you got your on and off button here. Three prong plug. Um, this whole back plate, I believe, comes off if you want to unscrew the thumb screws here. And this is for your five and a quarter hard drives. You take this plate off. There's a little thumb screw here. Don't unscrew it all. Just unscrew it enough and then you will unlock it to the left. And then you're able to pull out the hard drive cage. Put your hard drive in and then slide it back in here. And when you're done, go to the right and just tighten that back up and then you put this back on. So that's if you're storing, if you want to install two five and a quarter drives. This is all modular here too, as you can see, um, depending on how many slots you want, you could actually take this bracket off and remove some of these slots if you want to do two, five, or whatever the configuration that I showed earlier on the web page. That's all up to you. That all comes out here, as you can see. So you just unscrew this here. And then depending on what your setup is, you can remove these off here, as you can see here. I'm not gonna do it right now, but I just wanna show you. There's uh, slots here where you could actually kind of remove these depending on what you wanna do with uh, your configuration. So that's pretty cool that you have that option to uh, remove uh, and use whatever PCI, however many PCI slots you want. And I believe this whole back plate comes off as well, um, based off some of these thumb screws and whatnot. So I'm just kind of looking around here. I didn't look deep into the instruction manual. I'm just unboxing as I go and kind of just looking around visually to see, um, you know, what this case can do. So I believe if you want to open up the side panel here, you would unscrew this two top portion screws here, two thumb screws. This thing slides off as you can see. So there's no mesh magnetic grill or magnetic uh, uh, filters here. Oh, actually, you know what? It's on top of here. Let me see. Yeah, so it sits on top of the case as you can see. So it doesn't, it's not like it's sat on the panel here like the other one. You'll want to take care of the filter on the top here. So that's pretty cool. It's magnetic as you can see. So let me flip the case around so you can see. Here's the, here's the grill here. Dust, dust catcher, magnetic. Take care of it that way. So that's pretty cool and to Okay, so looks like to remove the side panel, remove the top like we saw, and then kind of just push up here, as you can see. And then the side panel comes off and this is glass, so be careful. 
So that's the side panel of the glass and it's got it's got a metal frame and glass on it. So be very careful with this panel when you pop it off. Okay. So now that we have the panel open, let's see. Um, I don't know what this is. Let's take a quick look. So this is all your electrical uh, and your power input cable. They're all modular to that power supply. So yeah, let's, let's take it out to see what cable they give you here. Okay, so you got your three prong power, which is important. This is your motherboard power. Your 24 pin motherboard power cable. CPU power cable. This is your PCIe power cable. It's a Y cable, so you got one going to power supply and two out right there. And they gave you another one, so you got two of these Y PCIe cables. You got your SATA. Let me see, this is your SATA cable here. And this is the old school four pin ones that if you have any legacy devices, we'll use these. They can still come with that. And you got another SATA cable as well. So you got all your cables there, which is, which is good. And looking inside the case here, it's pretty nice looking. All the, all the motherboard cables will come through here. As you can see, it's got a grommet here that you can hide all your cables as you're running your cables around. Obviously, your motherboard will sit here. AIO will be right here. You can put fans down here. I believe you can put fans on top here, too. And you can have a fan back here. And on the bottom here, it looks like it has a, a mesh cover here, too. And it looks like you could take it off from here, as you can see. So you could clean out the dust here. So you'll have to remove your side panel and then pop that out and clean it, so keep that in mind. Okay, so my microphone went bad, so I had to do a voiceover on this last part here. But as we're looking in the case right now, um, it looks like um, there's plenty of room uh, for you to work on the case. Um, I don't think the back panel comes out uh, from looking and inspecting the case all around. But you should be able to um, pop in your motherboard and build your PC with the side panel open like this and just pretty much pop in the motherboard um, and uh, screw it in uh, with plenty of workspace while having the side glass panel open. So, yeah. So, um, you know, it uh, looks pretty, um, pretty easy, pretty roomy to work with. You don't have to pretty, you don't have to take anything else apart. Um, you could just build it as is uh, with the side panel open. Now, looking at the accessory here, this is the accessory box. Um, as you can see here, um, there's a little thank you card for purchase. Um, there's a little instruction manuals in different languages, and it tells you what kind of cables it comes with, which we went over earlier. And it looks like these are just some. Um, Random brackets. Um, not sure what they are for. Um, I should probably read the instructions, but um, it looks like it does come with quite a few brackets. This is a modular case, so depending on what we are doing, this one looks like it's a stand for a external pump. Um, this one looks like a lower stand if you run a run a stand a uh, pump that's higher. It looks like, but nonetheless, it does come with uh, several accessories um, that you could use to um, make the case your own uh yeah all these brackets they look like you know it's for um some kind of uh mounting um a water setup so that's pretty much everything in here this white box is just a bunch of uh screws for the case and yeah this is everything in the accessory box um of this kit now that's pretty much it um this is the case. This is the Lee and Lee dynamic mini case. As you can see, it's very modular. Um, it gives you lots of um, room for creativity. And, um, you know, these PCI slots, um, you could pretty much take apart. Um, the case for the most part is toolless. Um, uh, assuming after you install all your 
all your peripherals. But um, lots of thumb screws all around the case. As you can see, I'm screwing them in right now. Um, yeah, you don't need to have fancy tools. Um, if you don't tighten it as hard, you could just use your um, strength of your fingers and unscrew the thumb screws. You got your grommet and all that neat stuff here. So we'll go ahead and let's uh, put this side panel back on. So you're just going to match it to the rails on the side and then slide it down to lock it in. So it's really easy, as you can see. So that's putting back the side glass panel. And then we're just going to pop the top plate back on, put it on the rails, slide it back, use the thumb screws, and just tighten it up right there. Very, very, very easy to use. And there you have it. Everything is now secured. And then the last piece is, uh, let's put the last panel on for the other side. So just line it up and slide it in. Just like that. Very, very, very easy. Doesn't get easier than this, guys. So I'm going to pop the two screws back on and tighten it up and everything is pretty much buttoned up ready to go so that's pretty much the case guys and yeah that's all the buttons and stuff so uh, that's the Lee and Lee case that's the unboxing and um, everything you get with this case so hope you guys like the video you guys know what to do if you like it share subscribe and like always thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Till next time.